Okay, so we're going to take a look at this, the uh, Seek Thermal Imaging Camera. And this is uh, for Android, and it works with micro USB uh, ports. So you have to have a, an Android handset with the micro USB port. Basically what it does is it will give you a, um, a thermal representation of what you're looking at. So you can see the hot spots, the cold spots, indoors and outdoors. And you can find, uh, as you can see here, heat leaks. You can see studs in walls. You can detect electrical shorts and water leaks and basically it means that you don't have to spend a huge amount of money on uh, getting a professional to do it and my cat has decided to take an interest in here and you can see here you can you can have a look for wildlife outdoors as well so in the dark I would be able to see um, this crazy cat uh, even without any any daylight so that'd be pretty good and here you can also detect intruders so we could see you in the dark. So let's give it a try and see if we can see this cat. All right, so we open up the box and inside we've got a little bit of description about what we can do with it. Obviously the security aspects, the heat loss aspects, cooking, measurement, and we can do some maintenance. Um, it comes in a protective casing like this. So this is all you need to carry around with you. Uh, it's just this little case which um, you can carry around. It comes with... Um, an attachment so you can stick it on your key fob if you want it is literally that small and the device itself is within this plastic casing which has a clear front on it and this is the device itself and has a um, bezel around the edge which you can rotate like that and it just simply plugs in to your micro USB port that's all there is to it and um, then it should give you a sort of image of um, the heat spots and the cold spots if the cat will allow it the cat likes it so the first thing we've got to do is to download the app and here's the app you'll need seek thermal we're going to install that this is um, the app that will work with the device once we've plugged it in so we're going to install that as you can see it's 7 meg not too bad and installs quite quickly okay so we've opened it up and it says um, connect your camera to enable thermal imaging. So let's do that. Okay, now with the Samsung Galaxy S5 that we've got here, the USB port is of a certain direction and it makes the uh, camera point backwards. Now, a key point of this is that it depends on which way your micro, S uh, micro USB port is facing. So here on the right, I have the Mizu handset where the larger the fatter part of the micro USB port is at the front uh, the, the screen side and on the um, Galaxy S5 the fatter part of the micro USB port the longer the wider part is at the back and that's the way we need it to be okay so it's uh, it looks like it's got uh, it says here allow the app seek thermal to access the USB device so that's Android basically saying do you want this to happen so I'm going to say yes and let's turn the screen upside down but you can see here that it's kind of meant to work that way around I'm going to come out of the settings here and you can see immediately everything's warm by the looks of it in this area let's go outside and see if it cools down so you can see here that my cat is showing up as orange And you can see her moving around, you can see her tail there. So if this was dark, I would be able to see the cat, even without the light. It really is picking up that heat. And what I've done now is to adjust the uh, bezel around the edge, the focus. And you can see there's really quite a lot of detail in there. Considering the cost of this. A little bit of a delay there sometimes, but it's not in any way terrible. Right, <clears throat> I'm going to take you around the uh, Seek Thermal app, and first of all we'll go to the main screen. And you can see here that um, you can split, so you can see with your main inbuilt camera on the left here, the normal view, and then the thermal view through the thermal camera here on the right hand side. Um, on the right hand side, so you can take photos, and you can snap away like that. You can also film and take footage 
you can see I can move up and I can see heat signatures and you can see the ground is quite cool here and you can see if we move over to the slide on the right hand side there you go that's slightly different colour we can adjust this sweep it to the right to the left start recording and what I'll do is put all this um, video footage alongside this review so you can have a look at uh, exactly what it looks like. The refresh is uh, quite quick. You can adjust the uh, bezel on the top to adjust the focus of the heat sensing camera. So if I turn it here you might see things getting slightly more blurry or slightly more in focus. And we've also got several modes, so if we have it on full heat sensing mode here. What I've done is I've pointed it to a house here behind, and you can see just from the heat sensing side of things, from the thermal signature and the colours, you can see the sky up above, plus the heat coming from the house there. And we can stop that recording and we can switch to various modes as well. This one shows you exact temperatures um, around the screen, so you can see there 17 degrees, point it there, that's 14 degrees, so that blue section is cooler, point it at the house up here, that's 21 degrees, so the bricks are keeping the temperature high there, point it at the window, you can see it's cooler, slightly cooler, 17, 18 degrees, and likewise if we point at the roof, 17 degrees. So it shows you the various temperatures. We can also um, do a high-low range. You can see the highest temperature and the lowest temperature at whatever you point it at, which is very useful. And we've got here threshold, so you can set anything above 27 degrees. There isn't anything right now, but if I say above, say, uh, let's move this down to 20 degrees or 21 degrees see it's showing anything above 21 like that you can see there that side of that house is all above 21 degrees Celsius so it may be that the house is losing a lot of heat out of that wall maybe they need some insulation perhaps uh, but this is all useful information very useful and you can here you can change the colors that you have uh, the colour palettes, so if you don't like that you can have purple, or sort of an orange, you can have a green, various different options. There's uh, a range of settings as well within the app. Uh, the app works very well I must admit, and here you can set temperature units, you can set the colour palette, the image preferences here, you can change that, change the smoothing, whether you want any watermarks on there, so you can maybe put the date and time, the location, turn the logo on and off. The location and date and time is great if you're uh, out and about on the road and you want to use this as part of your job. You can maybe remember where you were and where you actually did a certain survey with the uh, application. Um, and that is about it.